Hello, welcome to the channel and welcome back to Resurrect Autos HQ. Today guys, it's Monday morning. I hope you had all had a great weekend. I did, very chilled, very relaxed. Recharged the batteries, ready for another very busy week. Um, so yeah, uh, but before I get into what's happening today, let me explain what happened uh, Friday afternoon and Saturday morning. So. Friday, um, I went and looked at a car for someone else. One of my subscribers got in contact with me about a week ago, two weeks ago, said that they're looking for a car. They found the right car they want. Um, it's not the particular car that I'm starting to do at the minute or have got. I tried to source one, but not many come up. They're not many around. Uh, plenty on the bigger um, salvage auction site that, that everyone knows about, but I don't use that company anymore. Uh, I don't want to... Um, mention them in case everyone, anyone else goes there because I don't want anyone else being um, ripped off, stung or, or, or anything like that. So I'm not going to sort of say who it is, but you all know who it is. Um, so yeah, the company that I use, I haven't really got one going through at the minute. So he found one. Um, someone was selling it online, auto trade, I think. Uh, and he said, listen, um, he's found a car. Um, it's a Cat S. It's been repaired, um, and he wants me, he said, could I have a look at it to see if it's, you know, okay, been repaired right, looks okay. And I said, do you know what? Fine. If you're going to pay me to go over there and have a look at a car, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll help you out and look at a car. Uh, it, well, it didn't pay me a massive amount of money, but... You know, it was something uh, towards the time, my time, my diesel and stuff like that. But if I can help someone else out, I will. So that's what I did on Friday afternoon. Uh, went over to a, looked at a Nissan Qashqai. Um, it's a 2016 Reg. Um, and it had a front end, front end corner damage, a Cat S. Uh, I, could, I tried to do some filming, guys. I really tried to do some filming over there, but he just weren't having none of it, guy. So, don't know. You know, these people, they've got nothing to hide. They've got nothing to hide, then I don't see the problem in filming. Uh, not not the particular person, but the car, around the car, hide the number plate. Do you know what I mean? Normal stuff like that, but he won't have none of it. So I thought, okay, all right, well, that's, that's, his, uh, that's his option to yes or no. So I couldn't do any filming, but I looked all around the car, checked it all over, and it seemed okay. Um, you know, I did do some checks on it as well. I spent a good hour and a half looking all over the car, around it, plugging computers in, um, just, yeah, just making sure that I can sort of give the guy the best, um, yeah, my best opinion on, on the particular car. So, and without taking bumpers off, taking lights out, take, taking the car apart, it's very difficult to, you know, absolutely say because the bumper does hide quite a lot of that stuff in the front, but it did look like it had been changed and it was all sorted. So... Yeah, that was on Friday afternoon. That got sorted. He bought the car. Job done. He's happy. He saved about three or four grand. Um, so, yeah, really happy that I can help someone out doing that. Um, what else happened? Saturday morning, the Rex to Riches car sold. So, that is now gone. We are now on car four. Um, car three is done. I got 12 50 for that car. 12 50 So, we'll do all the numbers um in another in another video but i just wanted to you know keep you updated to let you know what's going on um so that's that also i've got the Vauxhall Corsa back from the paint shop it's been crazy this i'll tell you what this is for friday saturday was just mental just crazy um so yeah i've got the Vauxhall Corsa back from the paint shop i'm going to clean it we're going to walk around that this morning as well we'll show you that back from the paint shop um and i've also got myself a spray booth gazebo <laughs> it, it's, a, it's a gazebo guys but it's a, it's a spray booth um and the main reason for this is to contain mainly to contain the overspray um i just didn't want paint going all over the workshop it just and that is what's going to happen especially with the clear lacquer apparently the clear lacquer just goes everywhere so um i want to sort of contain it into this kind of room gazebo <laughs> Um, that way it will give us, you know, a much better, I come in here Saturday and I was doing some prep work as well. You can see the bumper, uh, and the bonnet is, uh, the wing is there as well. The, the, I'll show I'll, I'll spin you around. I'll show you in a minute guys, but the bumpers come out really well. 
Um, the wing, not happy with. Not happy with that at all. So, yeah, we are getting there with this. Uh, the bonnet, I'm really happy with. Um, the bum part, I'm happy with. But the bonnet, the, the wing, not so much. So we need to do go back. I'd rather go back in the stage now than 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 paint it and go and then go back. Do you know what I mean? So go back now. It is um, it is better to do it now whilst it's primed. So yeah, let's um, let's get into it. I'll go and clean the cut. The, the I'll go and clean the voxel courser first. So that's all nice and clean. I'll show you around that. We'll get in and we'll start doing the painting. So let's do this. Right, guys. So there we go. The Vauxhall Corsa is back from the paint shop. Um, yeah, and as you can see, it's a little bit flat. He did say like he might have to describe it a bit more, um, but much, much better, much, much better. Show you the other side. I just washed it. That's why, sir. There's marks all over it. But uh, yeah, much, much better, guys. When it comes to the painting. So there we go, yeah. Uh, he did uh, what he did as well. He's done the front bumper for me as well. So yeah, remember it was all like splattered with what sort of stone chips and marks all over it. He just went over it for me. Um, so I don't think he re-sprayed the whole thing. I think he just touched it in and sort of uh, made it look prettier. So yeah, much much better. So this one is now going to be up for sale. Um, not quite sure on the price at the minute. Um, still got to clean the inside, do little bits and pieces, just tidy it up, do my normal stuff. Uh, we've already MOT'd this car, so we ain't got to worry about that. Uh, Want to do the seats, clean the carpets, just really go over the inside just to make it, you know, as best I can. So that's what I'll do. These seats are pretty grubby, so we'll, we'll get the machine uh, on that and give them a good clean up. But uh, yeah, as far as the painting's done, as far as the painting is concerned, we are done. Sorry, guys, I just cleaned the car, so I'm sort of out of breath a little bit because that's just me rushing around. Um, I want to sort of see if I can do something with this bumper here. Um, he said just try and flatten polish it back, so I'm going to try that. But, um, yeah, looking really, really good. So I'm uh, super happy with that. Another one up for sale, hopefully going to go soon. Um, yeah, the Rex of Riches car, that's gone. So, yeah, we've only got the... Fiat 500 left um, and then we need to sort of crack on get some more cars get some more projects I have actually found some really nice projects that's coming up this week um, two of them two of them are um, non-runner uh, no keys locked up um, yeah the whole the whole thing really so it's quite these cars are quite risky but if I've done it before like, you know, in a couple of cars before, locked up keys, you know, non-runners. If you can get them going and they're not going to cost you a, a new engine and stuff like that, they are definitely, definitely worth grabbing. So I will keep you informed. Um, but for now, let's crack on. Um, I want to show you, actually, before we... Let's see if I can get this tent open one-handed. Probably ain't going to be Oh, yes, I am. I just want to show you the bumper, first of all. Um, so it's a bit dark in here. I'm going to have to get a light or something put up in here so I can see better. But yeah, I'm super happy now with that bumper. I've gone all over it, checked it, made sure the bits and pieces, the parts. It is really, really decent now. So yeah, that is definitely ready um, for a base coat and then lacquer. Um, definitely, definitely. I think I've got to rub it down first, though. I'm going to probably do like a 2,000, 2000 grit sandpaper. Just give it a light, light rub over um, just, to, just to key back this primer. But it feels really smooth and flat as it is anyway. But I just think a, a, a nice little bit of 2,000 wet and dry would, uh, yeah, make that sort of definitely better. But, uh, yeah, I'm super happy with that primer. Um, not happy with this. So... Yeah, let me just turn it around so you can see it better. So, yeah, this is terrible, like proper terrible. So, look at it, look, look at the way it's come out. That's a reaction to what's ever underneath um, on the original paint, I think. So, I'm going to have to rub it right back, just rub it right back, back 
this corner arch is pretty good. That can probably stay. But everywhere, everywhere else just literally needs rubbing back. Terrible. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on and get this done first. Um, I'll set you up. Let's get this done. I'll get that out. Actually, let's take this out. Rub it, rub it down outside so the dust is not inside here. Um, and then, yeah, I really appreciate all the support as well, guys, with the comments. You know, everyone's saying, don't forget to wet the floor. Uh, so that's what I'll be doing as well, is I'll be putting some water down all over the floor just so that it helps absorb it, um, any overspray or anything like that. But I think it's a great idea putting this gazebo up for now. Uh, it's not one of those ones that you just pull, pull and it just sort of opens up itself. That's really what I want because it's a lot quicker and a lot easier to do that. These ones with all the poles and stuff, so you've got to set it all up. So I don't think this is going to be... This gazebo, don't think it's going to be a long-term uh, solution for us. Uh, and I would have to find a different gazebo pop-up thing or tent. But for now, it's doing the job. Um, and also, what I'm going to do, I'm not going to paint this bumper today. Um, at the minute, sorry. I'm going to paint this wing today completely. Because what I want to try and do is um, paint the wing and then put it on the car. Then compare it. With when it comes to the the, the color, the shade color, um, and the actual like, if I can lay it down well enough, do you see what I'm saying? If I can lay the paint down well enough, and I want to see if the uh, if it's ma if it matches basically the co the color matches. If it don't, there's no point doing the bumper and the bonnet. There's no point. I'm just wasting the paint. I'd rather do this one first, one panel at a time. Get this one done. If it's any good, we can carry on bumper bonnet if it ain't any good then the rest of the paint and the bonnet and the bumpers go into the paint shop and, and i'm gonna put it on the car and literally just go put, put it on the car and go there you go paint that there's some paint or whatever i don't i know but i, I want to make sure if you get what i'm saying that it's gonna we're gonna be happy with the color shade so yes very very busy at the minute so let's crack on let's get this rubbed down and then um we can hit it again with some primer. So let's keep going. So guys, there we go. That is the wing uh, all painted off or primed. Um, I just got to leave it to dry now, really. So I think I'm going to move on to one of the other panels because the other ones were done last week. It's, it's had all the whole weekend to dry, and I don't want to risk sort of putting anything on that, rubbing it down, or anything like that, until it's completely dry. These are completely, completely dry. So. Yeah, I've got no sort of issues, um, just trying to hit. I, wa I wanted to sort of do the wing first so I could compare the colour and make sure the shade is right and all the rest of it, but I just can't risk, um, yeah, messing around with that wing at the minute. So that's kind of uh, changed things a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the bonnet. I'm going to lay the bonnet down inside 
take the wing out, and then we're going to hit that base coat. I'm going to rub it down first, probably with a little bit of... Uh, I don't know, really, like 600? Just to key it up a little bit, rub it all down, just to get rid of that uh, on that on primer. And then uh, probably with a little bit of wet and dry, 600 on that. And then once I've done that, I'll panel wipe it, and then we'll shoot it with the base coat yeah we'll we'll mix it up and away we go so yeah let's <laughs> let's see how this goes i'll set you up let's crack on let's do this Right, guys, so that is the first coat of base coat. I'm not going to go in there because it's, <laughs> yeah, it's a uh, bit fumey and paint uh, fumes everywhere. So just want to keep it keep it out of there for a minute. <laughs> but that's the first coat done. Uh, I am going to hit it with another coat. Uh, I'm going to leave it 10 minutes. We'll give it another coat. Um, leave it another 10 minutes, 15, and then we'll start hitting it with lacquer. Um, the trouble is I have, I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get, if I'm going to have to do a lot of this, I'm going to have to get another gun. Um, in fact, I'll get a few guns because I'm forever cleaning it. That's the, tr that's the trouble. It has to be perfect, clean every time. So I'm forever cleaning this gun and bits and pieces, the top. So I've definitely got to, yeah, that's what's taking most of the time. Um, is I want, I'm trying to make sure that it, you know, nothing else is going to contain it, um, contaminate it, mix all that sort of stuff. I'm just going over the top of cleaning, right? You wouldn't believe. You know that, because I'm doing it with my cars, but a bit of an OCD when it comes to cleaning. Um, but, yeah, like I said, I might have to get... I'm going to have to get another few. don't know. <laughs> just have to work something out. We'll see how we go. Um, so, yeah, I'll, um, I'll set you up quickly. Let's rub this one down the bumper, so that's all done with a 600. Um, we'll get that prepped. Because I don't think I'm gonna get it done today. I don't want to rush it. That's the trouble, yeah. Even though I'm only getting like one the bonnet done just today, the and the and the um the wing primed, I don't want to rush it. As soon as you over overwhelm yourself, mistakes happen really quickly. Um, so, and it's only my first go, guys, isn't it? It's my first time doing this, so I really want to sort of don't want to rush it, um, and take my time as much as I can. So. 
Yeah, let me set you up. Uh, let's get this rubbed down. Let's get that prepped ready for tomorrow because that's going to be tomorrow now. I, I might, do you know what? I might be able to do the bumper and the wing tomorrow in one day. That's probably doable. So let's, yeah, let's crack on. Let's get that rubbed down. Give that another coat and then we'll, we'll continue with the uh, lacquer. 2K clear lacquer here. Uh, so yeah, let's... Um, Let's crack on, let's do this. Right guys, so there we go. That was my first attempt at um, painting uh, a bonnet. Yeah, so, and I don't think I did that bad, to be honest with you. Um, and like I said, it is the first time. So was I expecting this to go well right straight the first time? No, I wasn't. <laughs> I was not expecting it to be perfect um, because it is definitely an art to this uh, painting lark. Um, and I've known that from the beginning. It's just that, you know, I do like to try. Uh, but for the first first attempt, I think it's come out not too bad. Um, we have got some issues and I do, I cannot, I cannot hit this with um, clear lacquer because it, um, <laughs> it's not right. It, it, it definitely not right. From here, looks good. Looks flat, looks nice, looks even. Um, the color looks absolutely spot on. Um, I've done a test. I've got the old one and put it underneath the back of it to see what it was like, and it's absolutely spot on the color. So that's good. The shade, the color shade is good. That's not, that's not the issue. Our issue is we have some runs. Um, and... Yeah, as you can see, there's one here, going across there. Um, there's a couple of drips at the bottom here where I think I've, you know, I've, I've overdone it a little bit on the edge because I've, with the edges, it's such a thin area, you kind of feel like you need to build up a little bit, but I think I've done it too much. So you can see there's a few drips and that's why it's on the floor. Um, so yeah, um, there's a few runs here and there's a few runs on the front here so as it's come down um you can see that it's, it's run here a little bit here and a little bit there um so yeah those those kind of bits there i think i saw one over this side as well did i see one here i think i saw a little bit here i don't know if i can get it on camera so i'll get that angle it's not too bad now it's drying off it ain't that bad uh, but there's one here, very, very small one there. Apart from that, um, it, it all looks all good. Um, the trouble is with it is that because they are runs, I don't want to touch it, you know, I don't want to make it worse. I don't want to, you know, do you know what I mean? So uh, I don't know what to do at the minute. I don't know whether just to try and wipe it back or flat it. I don't know. When you get runs like this in base coat, what do you do? It could have been worse. It's always could have been worse. Um, so it's not that bad, but it's not perfect. And I wasn't, I, I was expecting some runs, to be honest with you, because I'm still getting used to the distance of the gun, uh, the position. And um, yeah, it could have been a lot worse. Because it's laid flat, um, it's going to be uh, there's, there's less chance of, it, of of runs, but because you've got this this slope here, that's why it's starting to run here and here. So it's a little bit too thick. Um, I should have just, um, yeah. But we, you know, we live and learn, and we have to sort of learn from the mistakes that we do. Um, and this is definitely one that I will sort of learn and 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 move on. But 
it's not that bad. So that's the, that's the good thing about it. So it's had one coat. So what I'll do is tomorrow, once that's dry, I'll sort of just flat that back a little bit where the runs are and then hit it again um, <laughs> very lightly <laughs> all over and then, then it'd be ready for base coat. So yeah, that's what I'll have to do. But so far, so good. I'm getting used to it. I am getting used to it. Um, but it's the, it, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm ninety five percent sure I'm going to get my, some runs in the clear coat as well. I'm just absolutely sure of it. But this is definitely, um, this is definitely a learning thing for me. Um, but so far, so good. I think it's all right. Overall, guys, what do you think? You know, I think it's all right. Um, these runs, they should dry off pretty quick. Uh, I just, I just, do you know what? I don't want to touch it. I just don't want to touch it. Because the rest of it is pretty good. It is good. Like the top part, I've laid it on okay. Um, I think what it was is that I should have, I, I actually done two coats quite quickly. And I should have done one coat, left it sort of a little bit longer, and then maybe done the next coat. You know, so I'm just trying to sort of, yeah, I'm just still trying to learn uh, the process of it, of it and stuff like that. But, yeah. Um, I might, if I can, let me have a quick mess around with these, these, these runs and see if I can get them back down a little bit. And then I'll do it with the base coat again. And then maybe then we can get it lacquered. So let, let, leave it with me for the minute. Let me see if I can play around with these. I'll come back to you if I can. And then we'll see what it's like when I'm done. But you can see that there, yeah. And that one there. So yeah, bear with me a sec, guys. We might be able to save this today. Let me, let me try. Oh God. Right, okay. So as you can see, I've just dabbed it with a little bit of thinners on the areas that I'm, that I'm not happy with, um, like that. So it's a case of now just leaving it that to dry for a little while, leave it 10, 15 minutes, and then get in here and yeah, go over those areas, um, you know, where I can. I'll have to sort of go over a bit more, just dust it over a little bit, and then I can hit it with the clear. So hopefully, because yeah, I was panicking, like I was proper panicking. I was thinking, that's it, I'm done. <laughs> but then once I started looking into it and, and you know, you go back onto the YouTube and see some videos of, of you know, how to correct uh, paint runs in base coat and stuff like that, it's pretty simple, but you just have to do it again. Um, you know, it's not like it's right across the whole panel. It was just in a couple of set stages and sections. So, yeah. Let me um, leave it on that for a minute, let it dry off. I'll set you up, up in the camera, in the corner again. Uh, we will put some more paint down and then we'll have a look at it um, and then we'll go from there. So yeah, hopefully guys, this is gonna be okay. I'm gonna save it, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, let's do this. Right, okay. 
Okay, guys, let's check out what I've done. So, yeah, managed to go back over it. Um, and this side's, you know, not that bad now. Um, but I'm not 100%, still not 100% happy with it. So, yeah, we're going to have to... We're gonna to have to leave this. Uh, I did, you know, I have tried to to do it now. Um, it's just, I don't wanna rush it. And, you know, it's, it's something that I wanna try and sort of improve. Um, so we will get there, don't get me wrong. I will get there and I will get it done. Um, so, but yeah, it's just, it's just one of them things really. You can see it's just there. It's just a little bit built up a little bit as well. You can see that, like that there. So, hmm, it's one of them things. It just is. Uh, and you can see, like, it's, I don't know if you can just see it. I'm trying to get it in the sun a little bit so you can see it. Like, it's a little bit, yeah, especially being this point of the bumper, as, uh, the bonnet as well. Do you know what I mean? If it was, like, right at the back, um, you wouldn't see it as much. But because it's right at the front, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a position, a point where your eyes are going to be drawn to it, especially when you're opening and shutting bonnet, opening and closing the bonnets. It's right there. Do you know what I mean? I just cannot leave it. Um, but I've tried to go over it. I think what it needs, it does need a little, little bit of a rub back. So, And obviously I can't rub that back until it's dry. So it means we're going to have to leave it, come back in the morning, rub it down, flat it, um, you know, don't go too mad, but enough. Um, I'm hoping that I don't need to put any filler around that. You know what I mean? Because that's what I really don't want to do. So once you start hitting filler, you have to rub it down. Then you have to prime it. Then you have to rub it down. Then you have to... It's just going to drag on and on and on. Um, but, um, yeah, this side ain't too bad. It's very, very slightly there. <clears throat> but, I'm, again, I'm just not 100% happy, guys. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to clear coat that until I'm absolutely spot on happy. Like I was with the primer, I kept going back, rubbing it down, repriming, rubbing back, priming it down. Just, just keep going, keep going. Um, and eventually, hopefully, <laughs> fingers crossed that I'll get there. But so far, so good. I'm quite happy the way that it's going down. I'm quite happy the way the setup of the gun is, um, the actual paint. It's all a paint process and it's all a learning curve. But just, you know, you've got to remember, like, this is my first time painting a bonnet with a, with a gun and painting any sort of, um, yeah. Like, it's feel, it, does, it's, it feels a lot better than an aeros aerosol can. You can you can definitely get the, the better, like, fan. Um, with an aerosol, it's, like, quite thin. But with, a, with these guns, you're quite wide. And you can really get it laid down quite nicely. But then, you know, as we saw here, you're going to get runs. So, a little bit too thick. But, I'm happy with the progress. I'm happy with the progress. But, yeah, guys, drop me a comment and let me know what you think. You know, so far, so good. It seems to be going all right for me. Um, I, was, I wasn't expecting it to go perfect first time. I was not. And um, a, little, a couple of areas is better then loads of areas or, or you know, loads of bits and pieces running. It, and that's, it's a, you know, do you know what I mean? It can always be worse, is what I'm saying. So that is going to be the end of today's video. We'll come back tomorrow. I'm not going to give up. I'm not a quitter. I'm definitely a good tryer. <laughs> so we'll come back tomorrow. We'll get into it. We'll get it done. And hopefully... We can um, we can get the wing done as well and the bump bumper. Uh, we'll try and get the you know all done tomorrow. So there we go. Thanks for watching. Drop me a comment. Don't forget to give you a video a thumbs up. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.